Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to set up merchant promotions in Google Merchant Center Next for your e-commerce store. Merchant Center promotions look like this on your ads. They make your ads stand out from competitors. Your ads take up more space and this increases your click-through rate, getting you more traffic and more sales. I'm going to show you exactly how to set them up. To do this, you do need to already have set up the promotion code in your Shopify account. If you don't know how to set up a promo code or a discount code in your Shopify account, I'll leave a link down below to a tutorial on how to do this. After you've done that, we're ready to set up Merchant Promotions in your Google Merchant Center Next account. Let's get into it. Okay, so we'll start here in our Merchant Center Next account. Click Promotions in the left menu. Now we'll click Add Promotion and select Create Promotion. First thing we're going to do is select the country that our promotion is applicable to. For this example, we will use the United States. We'll keep the default language here and the currency will automatically set the default currency of our account. Now here, we're asked where we want the promotion to appear. In our ads, in the free product listings that Google offers us, in its Chrome browser, where they have features to sometimes show seller promotions, or in the buy on demand Google listings. Generally, you'll want to keep all of these selected. This will get you the most exposure for your promotion as possible. Now, there are three promotion categories. One is being a fixed amount off. So for example, $100 off. This optional field is where you can set a minimum purchase amount to be eligible for the discount. For example, it could be $100 off any purchase amount above $1,000. Or you can set the eligibility for only those who buy a certain quantity of products. For example, shoppers must buy two products to get $100 off their order. Or you can set it so they need to buy a quantity of the same products to get the discount. For example, buy six of the same items to get $100 off. Of course, the rules you set here must be the same that you set for the code in your store. Now, the next type of promotion that you can run is a percentage off. This can simply be a percentage off like 20% off, or you may require that shoppers buy a certain quantity of products to get a percentage off, which you would indicate down here. Or you can set it so that they must buy a quantity of the same product to get that percentage discount. You will set the parameter down here. And finally, my favorite promotion is free shipping. In choosing this, you simply need to indicate what kind of delivery speed you're offering with it. Is it standard? Is it overnight? Is it two day shipping? Pro tip, Google loves calling attention to fast and free shipping with additional labels. Stores that offer this get a boost for their ads. When you select the shipping type, make sure that it works with the shipping information that you've already set up in your account. Promotion details is where you'll enter the minimum purchase amount you'll allow for free shipping eligibility. Next is the promotion title. Continuing with our example, offering free shipping, you would probably just want to call it free shipping or something like that. It's a title that shoppers see, so you don't want it to be an internal code or something like that. You want it to be shopper friendly and descriptive. And then promotion ID is not going to be visible to shoppers. This will only be used by you internally. Let's just enter free underscore ship. Next, you want to identify which products are eligible for this promotion. So you could create a filter, which would be based on your product data. It will show you the available product data that you could use to assign this promotion to. As you can see here, we have in our custom feed labels where we've identified the price range of the products that we're advertising. But you can do it in different ways, such as by item IDs, product types, brands, or item group IDs. This next option is usually for more advanced users. If you have a mapped out product feed for your products, you can set your promotion ID attribute that promotion ID needs to match what we've said above here. Or you can simply click apply my promotion to all products. Here it asks you for a promo code to give to shoppers. This will be the promo code that you created within your store platform for use at checkout. And finally, enter your promotion code start and end dates for eligibility and then click save. That's how we set up merchant promotions in our Google Merchant Center Next account. If you have a lot of products, you can also set this up with a promotions feed. This allows you to tell Google what promotions you are running for your different products. I'll leave a link down below to a video on how to set up your promotions feed. Also, this video here is actually part of our free Google Shopping course. This is a free course that shows you everything you need to set up, optimize, and scale your Google Shopping campaigns to over 100K per month. It's completely free. It's on our website. I'll leave a link down below. Also, if you're already generating over 20K per month in sales for your e-commerce store, and you want to take it to seven figures and beyond, book a time with my team and I. We use Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and conversion rate optimization to scale up our client accounts 
and we'd love to help you with that too. Book a time, let's chat, and we'll talk through what we could do for your e-commerce store. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Make sure to click here for the next video in the free course, and I'll see you there.